So Derek Carr is getting traded to the Houston Texans. Well, I mean, not really. But according to Jeremy Fowler, that multiple AFC executives and coaches listed the Houston Texans as a likely landing spot for quarterback Derek Carr. The executives asked, pointed to the ties Carr has to the Texans growing up as a fan in Texas along with his brother. In addition, the Texans have the offensive line and weapons that Carr could be looking for. The biggest point came with GMs Dave Ziegler and Nick Cesaros, who worked together in New England and completed multiple multiple trades together. Other teams named that are showing interest include the Commanders, Saints, Jets, among others. The executives also believe that the Raiders and Carr will be able to work on a trade and he won't be released. Now I understand that David Carr talked about, you know, Derek wanting to go to a stable franchise and I don't know how stable the Texans really are, but they do have a lot of key young pieces to build around. For starters, you got an up and coming running back in Damian Pierce who really came onto the scene last season. You got another guy, John Metchie at the wide receiver position that's only going to grow with a veteran wide receiver like Brandon Cooks. On top of that, they do have a solid offensive line to protect Derek Carr. Now, my biggest question in this scenario is, is Derek Carr willing to waive his no trade clause in order to go to the Houston Texans? And what would they be willing to give up to acquire Derek Carr? Now, first of all, I definitely could see Derek Carr wanting to go to the Houston Texans. I mean, his older brother played over there and I know he was a fan back in the days and maybe he could turn that organization around with the right pieces. And two, I don't know how likely it would be for the Raiders to get that number two overall pick, even if we were to give them Derek Carr and the seventh overall pick. Maybe if we added some more picks later on in the draft, because I know we got a whole group of draft picks that we don't really need, maybe we could move up. And if we did move up, I would definitely take defensive tackle Jalen Carter to help bolster up this defense. But then again, if Tom Brady doesn't pan out and whatnot, or we don't go and get a veteran quarterback, who knows if Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler get their quarterback of the future and a Bryce Young or CJ Stroud. So as unrealistic as us getting the number two overall pick sounds i could see the raiders getting their second round pick the number 33 overall pick in return and i still feel like that would be a win for the team because the raiders could still build on that get a top prospect uh later on in the draft on top of the seventh overall pick now as far as the other three landing spots that were named in this article the washington commanders the new york jets and the new orleans saints i feel like the best landing spot for Derek carr would be the new orleans saints but then again it all depends on what we would get back in return Turn and whether or not they have enough cap space to take on Derek Carr's contract. We'll see what happens in these next couple of weeks. I already know that there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of jabronis in the comment section, not even going to watch the video and just, they're just going to be complaining about, oh, Derek Carr is not going to get traded. Oh, you know, Derek Carr can't be traded. And why would he want to help the Raiders? Yada, yada, yada. You're right to a certain extent. But then again, I've explained this multiple times. Getting traded would benefit Derek Carr moving forward a lot more than being released. So with that said, trading Derek Carr is definitely in the realm a possibility but is he going to be traded to the houston texans that's where i want to get your thoughts let me know down in the comments below now and some other quarterback news let's talk about aaron Rodgers coming to las vegas according to dominic foxworth he listed five likely landing spots for aaron Rodgers, and one of those teams at number three happened to be the las vegas raiders and even though aaron Rodgers is likely on the trade block michael fabiano also added to this on twitter saying Per Adam Schefter, the Packers won't trade Aaron Rodgers within the NFC. If he is traded, it will be to an AFC team. Raiders, Jets, the ball is in your core. Now, that is definitely interesting. I would be down to have A.A. Ron on this team, especially if we don't get Tom Brady. And you add on the rapport that he already has with our number one wide receiver and Devontae Adams, I feel like that would be a win-win for the Las Vegas Raiders. I mean, just imagine Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, bring back Josh Jacobs. We have Darren Waller, Hunter Renfro, yada, yada, yada. Everything on top of all that, I feel like this team would be ready to compete next season. I mean, you already know that Aaron Rodgers is a talented quarterback, a Hall of fame worthy quarterback and would definitely take the Raiders to the next level my only concern about this move is what it would take for the Raiders to get an Aaron Rodgers what we would have to give up to bring him here and also that 60 million dollar cap hit but I did recently see A.A. Ron allude to that 60 million dollars in a recent episode of the Pat McAfee show which made me a little bit more comfortable about the possibilities of him donning the silver and black 60 million dollars a lot of fucking money right that's what everybody's talking about is what you're owed or whatever does that come into any of this conversation and there's no way you can say yes to that and be realistic but is the contract like something that you have to think about in this whole thing i mean it's a, it's lot, a lot of, of money. fucking money there, it's a lot it's of a lot of money, money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. I don't think there'd be a scenario where I'd come back and that would be the number. I think it, it would 
definitely, definitely things would have to shift. There's a lot of teams because of COVID that are strapped, and you're seeing us a lot of different contracts. They're pushing more money out uh, in in, uh, in deals. They're creating you know certain kind of void years to allow for the um, an easier cap hit. You know there would have to be some adjustments for sure. So you're telling me there's a chance. So after watching that clip, you could definitely see that Aaron Rodgers is open to renegotiating his contract to go to another team to help a team out and win a Super Bowl. The only thing is there are reports going around that the Packers are expecting two first round picks at least in return for Aaron Rodgers. And at that point, I ain't taking him. I, I'd rather stick with Tom Brady if he's willing to come back another season and play football. So with all this being said, there's still a lot of options for the Raiders this offseason, whether they want to go in and into the offseason and bring in a Tom Brady like we've all talked about these past couple of weeks or even trading for a guy like A.A. Ron, Mr. Discount Double Check and bringing him over here to reunite with his former number one wide receiver, Devontae Adams. As you guys already know, getting a quarterback is not the only thing that we have to do in the offseason. The moves don't stop there. We still would have to address the offensive line and this defense if we want to have any chance of competing next season. And to be honest with you guys, I don't think the Raiders are far from that. But what are your thoughts on this whole situation? What are your thoughts on Derek Carr going to the Texans? And what are your thoughts on us possibly going out and trading for Aaron Rodgers? Would you guys be down with that? Or would you guys rather go in a different direction and draft a quarterback or just bring in a Tom Brady? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now in some last bit of news, looks like Derek Carr might not be the only one possibly leaving the silver and black. Because according to Jeremy Fowler, the Raiders are looking to make aggressive changes to their roster. There are multiple teams monitoring wide receiver Hunter Hunter Renfro and tight end Darren Waller in case they get put on the trade block. Now, these are two players that recently got a contract extension just last season. And all the hype that we had for them going into the season really got washed away because both of these guys dealt with a lot of injuries throughout the season and was barely on the field. So that begs the question, should the Raiders move on from Darren Waller and Hunter Renfro? My honest opinion, I don't think they should. I still feel like they should at least play this season with whoever we bring in. These are two really critical pieces to our offense, but crazier things have happened so i want to ask you guys raider nation do you feel like the raiders should trade tight end darren waller or wide receiver hunter renfro this offseason let me know your thoughts down in the comments below all right raider nation that is all i have for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button it does a lot for this channel also if this is the very first time you come across my channel and you love the las vegas raiders then hit that subscribe button hit that notification icon much to notify you guys when i upload more videos just like this until the next video this is your boy some more raider and your boys yeah started off in oakley now we here now we here Thought that we was done, we just hit another gear. Look, started off in Oakland, now we here. Now we here. Hey, pull up with the nation in the silver black gear. Look, four games straight, we in the playoffs. Shout out to the Chargers fans, y'all enjoy the layoff.